Hey everyone, this is Matt N3VAN, and in today's video I will be disassembling my Lab 599TX500 QRP radio. Now you may be wondering why I would need to disassemble this. Well, for my purpose, I had an issue with the screen. I was at a friend's cabin, wanted to do some uh, single sideband HF, and he had his other QRP radio, moved it, and unfortunately the microphone hit about here, and uh, the screen got all distorted, and then after upon reboot, the screen did not come on. So I reached out to the US support for the Lab 599 and they told me to check this CR2032 battery, the coin battery, which is right here. And that's what we're gonna do today. Now the other reason you might wanna do that is when that battery uh, gets down low after a few years and you get a uh, battery indicator symbol to the left of your voltage. And that indicates you're gonna need to change that uh, coin battery. So uh, this video will help you do that. So we have to, uh, uh, remove these hex screws. There's uh, six on the top and two on either side. Yes, there's four on either side, but we're actually just removing the top two. These you loosen 180 degrees and um, also we need to remove the knobs. So for this knob, you have to actually use a 1.5 millimeter Allen key and then the three millimeter Allen key is for the, um, the other hex bolts. So let me remove the caps. Remember, be very careful. You don't need to loosen it all the way, just enough. And then this will come out as so. And these just pull off. Put these here. There we go. And now we're going to actually remove the um, hex screws. All right. Let's get this removed. Is that enough? Nope. Come on. There we go. Now these are longer than the size. The sides are actually shorter. And all the top ones are the same size, but I like to put them in order as you see. I'm laying it up there. Oop, that one came out. Try not to scratch my uh, aluminum case. And when you take this off, I'll show you, but there is a uh, there are some pins that you don't want to damage, so you want to pull it straight up to not to damage those. And it's been a great radio. I've had this for about a year and a half. No major issues, um, except for when I dropped the other QRP microphone on here. And actually, I'm having microphone issues on this, maybe due to that or just to transportation and I'm gonna have to work on that as well. Maybe another video where I disassemble the microphone. I did already disassemble it, trying to find the issue, but I could not find it. Uh, but the good folks at the um, support were kind enough to offer another microphone. I'm not sure the cost, just waiting for them to get back to me. So yes, yeah, great radio. Fortunately, a little hard to get with everything going on in the world. There we go. Now we have to get the sides. Now these top ones you just remove. And then the bottom you have to loosen. Oops. And as you'll see, they're much shorter. And I like to keep them organized. Let me show you. Much, much shorter than uh, the top ones. So you cannot you know, get these cross-referenced. But I'm gonna keep them over on the other side. So we do not, oops, wrong, uh, Alan. So we don't get them confused. Now the other bottom ones, you don't take that off. You don't want to, because uh, then it really comes apart. You just want to loosen it. Uh, the manual says 180 degrees. I had to do a little bit more than 180, but the top ones you do remove. There we go. And the threads are beautiful on here. You don't want to, when you torque them back, when you tighten them up, you don't want to have them too tight because you don't want to strip it. And you can strip it because this is an aluminum case. So be very careful putting it together, which I'll show you. There we go. Okay. Now, loosen these. Sometimes you have to do a turn and a half. 
and what you were looking for is the side to pop out like that maybe a little more we'll see and then that allows the top to come off all right let's see is that enough I might need more over here yeah I'm gonna have to loosen this a tad bit more they say 180 degrees I unfortunately believe it's a little more than that there we go this side's pulling up and so is that side and that's it so these are the two halves let me show you very nicely wound toroids and we're gonna check that battery that looks like it's in they say that pops out and um, oops let me flip it the right way sorry about that everyone so it matches you got to be very careful with these pins you don't want them bent or damaged in any way as they will cause you major issues in the future but you see how nice and loose that is a bunch of ribbon cables you have to be careful of but a very nice beautiful design and that coin battery which is the memory retention battery uh, which holds it into memory is seated properly beautiful beautiful toroids and that's what it looks like in the inside surprise there's no gasket but I guess it's not needed so the one thing they asked me to do uh, the tech support is to check that these screws are appropriately tight and I'm gonna do that right now let's see this is the right size or do I need a smaller one nope yeah, that's nice and tight they're snug. You know, I never dropped this radio. It's been out a lot doing POTA, and I want to get back out there. Ooh, that's a little loose, that one. There we go. Again, aluminum case, you don't want to strip anything, so be very gentle when you come in here and checking everything out. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you how to reassemble it right now. So remember, you got to line up these pins so they don't get bent when you put them in there. Double check that battery. All right. Make sure it's nice and lined up. As you see, it's beautifully lined up. And then firmly press in perfect and then we're gonna snug up the sides as you see the um, there we go nice and tight not too tight there we go start this by hand again you don't want to strip any of the threads due to the aluminum casing I'm surprised I didn't put a little bit of Loctite I was debating on putting some blue Loctite on there but if the manufacturer didn't do it I am not going to but great radio again start the screws by hand and then cinch it up make sure it's snug yep very snug and on to the other side make sure it's pressed nicely tight it's an amazing radio and I was very sad when I saw the screen was not working but I'm glad I don't have to send it in this is a great check before you can actually uh, reach out to support as apparently this does happen and it's good to make sure before you assume the worst again put it in by hand like anything with screws oops fumble fingers today it's a rainy foggy day all right. Let's 
start by hand. And if you feel any binding, do not go further. We can risk stripping out the uh, very nicely machined um, oops, threads. Okay, snug but not too much. Again, start by hand. I'm going to pow this on and see how she works. I missed it and I'm concerned. I um, when I saw that screen blank, but I still heard audio. I was a bit upset. And I know a few people on the group.io said uh, they had this issue. One person had to send it in and replace a display board. And luckily they had parts on hand, but everyone knows how things are. It's very hard to get things nowadays. You know, even though the pandemic is over. Okay, nice and snug, not overly tight. Start it by hand. Once the threads are good, you can continue on. Okay, now these have a little cup indent and it matches perfectly with the orientation. There we go. Yep. All right, we don't need that anymore, but we need the 1.5 millimeter. And again, hold it flush, put in the key righty tighty not too tight just so it doesn't come out no major wobble check for movements and it works great all right let me uh, power it on make sure everything looks good and works let me grab my battery got my Got my expert power, 5 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Plug this in. And uh, test it out. Make sure the screen comes on and there's no issues. While we have all the tools out. Don't really need to even tighten it in that much. There's the screen. Perfect. Works great. Yep. Everything functions beautifully. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I hope this helped you out with your Lab 599 if you need to open it up for either changing out the battery or for the worst case scenario of when the screen does not work. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like the uh, content I'm creating, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. This is N3VAN, and you have a wonderful day.